Previously, I set up a working Phoenix application on DigitalOcean, and now it would be great to automate deployments. If you're using GitHub, GitHub Actions is a great way to go because you can have the deployment step happen automatically right after you merge your pull request. I was confused with how the actions worked since there are quite a few packages on GitHub Marketplace, but I could not find a relevant one for deployment. I finally realized what I actually want to do is to SSH to this server and run a bunch of commands I ran manually. And there are a few packages that do just that. You can trigger an action via a workflow YAML file you define as part of your code base. To use a marketplace package, you just declare it in your file and there isn't anything extra that needs to be installed. The first thing to do is to set up a GitHub secret SSH key that will be used in the workflow and then add a public key to the authorized keys on your server. On your local computer, run this specific SSH keygen command, then dash C and call it something relevant to your application. Now copy the contents of the private SSH key. Private is the dangerous one. So copy that and go to your repository in GitHub and find settings. Then click on secrets on the left sidebar and click add new secret. The name you use here will be used like an environment variable. Save the secret and you can see that only the name shows up. Next, grab the contents of the public key and SSH into your server. We're going to add the key to the authorized hosts file. Open the file in Vim and paste the contents at the top. Write and quit and just exit out of the server. With that done, let's create a workflow file. Create a .github directory and a workflows directory inside that. Then create a YAML file inside of the workflows directory. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as it has a YAML extension. Inside of the YAML file, add the name. On is the trigger point. In this case, it will be on push. Set the branches to master, meaning that actions will only be triggered after you push to master. Next, specify jobs that will run. You can have more than one. Next, name of the job, job one in this case. The display name of the job will appear on GitHub as it runs and then the steps. Each step will also have a display name. Note the syntax of it though. Then specify users. This is the SSH marketplace package. So just declare it here and then specify with variables it will run with. First specify the host, then the SSH key. Remember, this is the name of the GitHub secret that was created earlier. And finally, specify the port, which I think defaults to 22 anyway. Now, the next argument. Script is what will actually run on the server. Note the vertical pipe. The next lines will just be the commands that will run as soon as you log into the server, as if you were doing it yourself. First, change the directory to your repository, then, Pull the latest changes from master. And because this is just part of testing, run git status. The output of this command will be recorded, so this will be a good confirmation that everything worked. Save this file and back on the terminal, commit the changes and push to GitHub. Because I committed straight to master without creating a branch, the workflow action should have been triggered because remember it gets triggered on push to master. So you can check and confirm that that is currently running. You can click onto it for more details. Notice the names of the workflows and the job. Here you can get even more details and see the output of every command. You can see that the last output is nothing to commit, which is the expected output from git status. So that's a success. Now I'm going to add all the Elixir Phoenix specific deploy commands. I will fetch prod only dependencies, 
compile the application and run the database migrations. Then compile the assets and create a static digest. Finally, create a mix release. Notice the override argument. This is to prevent a prompt for the override confirmation that will happen unless you actually increase the application version. Then I'm going to run the command to stop the app and start it as a daemon. I could probably just restart, but I figured it is safer in case something goes wrong mid-deployment and the restart command would not work if the app isn't currently running. Alright, so back on the console, commit the changes and push them up to GitHub. Again, remember that this was done on master, so the action should have been triggered. So back on GitHub, you can see that the new action is running. And the output looks like the output I would expect doing this right on the server. So now that this is an action deploy task, and it's actually running commands on the server, it's time to test it with a real change. I'm going to do it properly this time and branch off master. Then I'm going to make a small text change to the home page. This should be enough to confirm that it works. Now I'm going to commit it and push the branch to GitHub. Since this is a separate branch and not master, I'm going to create a pull request. After I merge it, I would expect the updates to show up here. So after merging it, you can confirm that the new action has been triggered. And when it's all done, I'm going to go back to the web page, reload it, and see the updates. I hope this was helpful. I know I was confused about how GitHub Actions actually worked. But now, even with this pretty basic example, it's going to save me and I hope you quite a bit of time.